brain. I like the way it sounds. But in Minecraft, it, uh, it sounds terrible. Or at least it did until a few months ago when I made this mod called Rain. The mod changes the sounds playing from the rain depending on the materials in the area. And I made it at 3am one night in about an hour. So, of course, naturally, it's going to become my most successful mod with a total of nearly 400,000 downloads. But, I mean, come on, it, it's pretty cool. I, let me show you what it can do. So the mod has a total of seven different sound types, as you can see along my whole bar here. We have copper, wool, glass, leaves, water, note blocks, and amethyst. And the respective materials sound like this. And it's because of these sounds that while you're walking around inside of a build or something that you'll be able to hear them change. For example, in all my survival worlds, I've started building stuff with copper because it just sounds so much better while it's raining. And the great thing is that the, uh, the mod's actually really, really simple, so let's run through that so we can have a look at how the code works. So to get the mod working, we first have to work out how it works in normal Minecraft, and this here is a class called Weather Rendering, which allows the rain particles and sounds to play uh, when it's raining. And this part in particular called Particles and Sound, it allows it to both play the noises and also let the particles show. And if you go down to this part of at the bottom, this is where the sound is stored. And basically it checks if block pause 2 exists, and if it does, then it goes down here and picks one of the two sounds to play. Okay, pause time, hang on. I, uh, I was looking for a way to fill in as like a bit. I was gonna add side by surface gameplay, and I found <laughs> Cat Runner. Oh my god, it doesn't look the best. I love, <laughs> I love Cat Runner 2D. Oh, it's got a story. Okay, it's so loud. Yes, yeah, Cat Runner 2D. Alright, and then, yep, there we go, okay, I got this. And so all I need to do is alter this sound here. So to do that, I am added a bunch of sounds to the game with this class here, and then all I had to do was create a mixin, which pretty much allows me to inject any code I want into this section of code here. And basically what mine does instead of runs this code, is it runs an if statement to check if the block pause 2 is of a metal block. And I have the metal blocks defined up here as this list here. And if it is, then it'll play this sound down here, which is the rain sounds metal. However, if it's not metal, it'll check if it's wall, or glass, or leaves, or water, amethyst, note blocks, lava, and if it's none of those, then it'll just play the normal rain sound. F*** I lost. And that's pretty much how the entire mod works. Anyway, after making this, it got me thinking about how sounds in Minecraft interact. Recently in 1.21.5, Minecraft has added a couple of new sounds for things in the desert when the sand is being blown by the wind, which is very cool, and this mod here is called Ambient Sounds, which adds bird noises to forests and wind and that kind of thing like that. But sometimes in your base, you don't want sounds constantly playing. So I started thinking about how you could make ambient sounds that were controllable in the environment around you. That was until I saw this video here, which is about a mod called Windswept, which has these blocks made of pine cones that play sounds at random, as if they're being blown by the wind. And that sparked the idea of taking those blocks and turning them into bird calls, so it would randomly play forest ambient sounds as if wind was being passed through the block. Or at least that was the general idea anyway. Right, we're gonna need some art for this. Um, I am going to create a block called the bird call block. <laughs> so we just need to make some textures for it, and I'm going to be using Blockbench as the software for this today. However, if we're not careful with this, it's going to look properly shit, so we need to follow a couple simple rules to make the pixel up better. Rule number one, uh, you don't want to make it too noisy. You want smooth textures implying the material and the feeling of the surface you're creating. Uh, that's very important. Throwing colours in willy-nilly is not going to do you any good. Rule two is to not use too many colours. I know that when you're making a gradient, it can be tempting to have as many colours as possible to make it smooth, but for low-res textures, you can just get from one colour to another in like five or so changes, so it's not even worth it. And the final rule that I'm following today is going to be to use hue shifting for colouring. Say you want to get a gradient across this surface. Well, you get your base colour, say green for example, and you make the colour lighter, you just need to add a little bit of yellow up here when you're moving it. And for each new lighter version, you just keep moving it towards the yellow further. And the same applies for darkening the colour. To do that, after changing the darkness, just move the colour a little bit towards the blue. This is a very simple way to prevent your textures from looking too horrible and like, kind of mouldy I guess. Right, so I know it's kind of looking a bit messed up, right? <laughs> looking terrible right now. But basically I'm gonna add some wood colouring to it and hopefully that'll clean it up a little bit. I was just kind of trying to get the pattern and design down and I'm hoping that a uh, wood finish will make it look a lot better. That did not help. I, um, I will be honest. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so gross. Okay, I won't lie, it's still not my favourite texture I've ever made, but it's uh, it's definitely an improvement. But yeah, I reckon we can move on to getting this in game. Right, hopefully the block has been added correctly. Uh, yep, there it is, okay. That's uh, rotated funny. Okay, does it- alright, that works better. That looks much better, actually. So it can be placed facing upwards and also uh, in any direction like this, which means now we can start adding it so it'll uh, randomly play sounds. So by using this code here, we can randomly play a sound out of the block, and currently it's set to the firework rocket blast because I'm yet to add the actual sounds in-game. Play the sound. Go. Do it. 
Oh, fuck. That didn't work. Shit. Okay, yeah, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, that means it's working. <laughs> it's... All right, the bird call has been added, as you can see here. Look at that. All registered and ready to go. Uh, let's see if it works in game or not. Ooh, look at me. I'm a little, a little bit in survival mode. A little, little survival mode boy. A little bird call block. I want ambient sounds for my forest. Bam. <laughs> it's playing. It... Fuck. What am I doing? Why, why is it doing that? Uh, shit. Uh, it's, it's playing. Look, do you hear that? It works. It works. Which means now that if I walk through a forest, I have random localized sounds playing. Listen to that. After thinking about it for a little bit, I also realized that if I was to do something that like made these spawn naturally, I could put them like between the logs like this when it spawns naturally on a tree and make it so this has the hollow log texture. So it kind of has like the normal wood texture, but like on the front, there's just like a hole in it. And I think that'd be a really good way to make it fit into the environment while also having naturally generating ambient sounds. But that's just a potential concept idea that I'm probably not going to follow through with. I committed to it. And by that, I mean, I fully committed to it. Every single log now has a variant for it. Now, I didn't make this generate in the world but you can craft them using eight logs and also one feather surrounding it which means that now if you use this mod you have access to uh, all these different logs well look at them all yep there you go there's all of them the idea was just to kind of make these blend in a bit more inside of a forest because the uh, other texture was it's it's like not bad but it's very garish inside of a forest like it would very much clearly stand out that's all the features for the bird calls i uh, i don't think there's anything else i can squeeze out of this but i will admit this is a very fun idea and i'm very glad i followed through with it all right is everyone ready to play yeah i yeah, am me too wait we don't have a guitar. Oh no. This is foreshadowing to when I make a guitar in the next part of the video. So yeah, next I want to make a guitar. Not really sure how, we're about to work out how to do that in a second. But first I'm going to need to gather some sounds. So I'm going to have to ask one of my friends to borrow their guitar. Hello, can I, can I please borrow your guitar? Thank you. Right, I, um, I've got a guitar. I, uh, I kind of need to relearn how to use it because it has been a while. In total, I got five different chord sounds. C, E, D, G, and A. Okay, for now that'll do. And here's how they sound in that order. So as you can see, we have the guitar item in game. It's technically not got a texture or any artwork yet, so it doesn't do anything, and also, um, it doesn't, it doesn't work right now. However, what we can do is if I run a sound, we can play the sounds in game because I have added those. This is all five of the keys. Uh, I can't remember which ones are which, but they all do work. I actually recorded a whole part of this segment where I was trying to get Mary Had a Little Lamb to work, but I lost my voice recording from it, so um, you get to just see the aftermath. This is my first attempt. Not quite it. Second attempt wasn't any better. What's this one? Look, I mean, it's a good thing I didn't go to music school because... Um, I'm not very good at it. Yep, that worked perfectly. I'm so glad I spent like 20 minutes trying to make that work. Anyway, let's open up coding software so I can actually get the guitar item working so I don't have to play with command blocks anymore. So right now I have it coded so if you use the guitar or right click it, then it will play the sound of the G chord. Because this line here, however, if you're sneaking and you're trying to right click with it, then it will play the G chord but with a pitch of 0 0.5. So let's have a look at how this goes in game. So in theory, that means if I right click it, it should play the A chord. And it does do that. And if I'm sneaking and I play it, Look at that, it works perfectly. Okay, great. Now I can try and uh, implement the other stuff. I basically want this guitar to work like the Terraria guitar, where depending on where your mouse is on the screen, it will change the pitch and volume and that kind of thing, and change the chords that's being played. In Terraria, it's depending on how close it is to the player, but obviously in Minecraft, we can't move our mouse on the screen like that. So I'm going to make it so it depends on which way you're looking. So if you're looking up, it'll play a higher chord, and if you're looking down, it'll play a different one. So let's have a look at how that looks in game, because uh, uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you. And then if I change the A chord like that to A chord, we can run this, and hopefully, depending on where I'm looking, this will change which uh, chord's being played. Currently, I'm looking at negative uh, 26, which means it should play one of the chords. But if I look down, it should play another one. That's working perfectly. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, great. That's wonderful. Right, so this code here should check that depending on where it's facing, it will go from A to C to G to D to E, with A being the highest when you're looking up and E being the lowest when you're looking down. Right, so it should be, in theory, above 36, A. That's A, okay. And then below 36, C. That's, that's correct. Below 12, G. Should be able to go all the way down to 12 here. Still G, yep, okay. Above 12, that should be D or E. That's D, and then below 36 down here, it should be E. It works perfectly! Are you fucking shitting me? 
I'm so good at coding and all of you can fucking sit and shrivel. Right, well, since it works, uh, we should probably go uh, make it into a guitar because currently it looks like proper dog shit. Okay, the art should be in game, let's see if it works. Uh, yep, seems to be, we've got an item. Uh, <laughs> looks a bit funny in my hand, I might have to rotate that a bit, but... Oh, it works. Oh, life is good. Uh, that's, that's the guitar, it, it works. It looks, it looks kind of funny, but I can't really change that too easily. There we go, that's a significant improvement. Works on both sides, look at that. Alright, boom, that's that's a guitar in Minecraft. Oh, I forgot, the, I forgot about the shifting function. It sounds so cool, I'm... I, I can't believe I made this with my own sounds and everything. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, join the Discord, follow my Twitch or any of that kind of thing. If you would like to play the mod, it is available for free on my Ko-Fi. If you are in the position to and want to see more behind the scenes content, feel free to become a channel member. Any support's just hugely appreciated, it helps take the pressure off of just pumping out videos. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.